What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I want to talk about Carfax integration. Um, uh, this, uh, this video is for new users and existing users, but for new users, before I start, when I, what is Carfax integration? Well, first of all, it reports to Carfax all uh, the, the work that you've done. You can choose not to report if you have to, but the majority of customers want to report, so they, they, the service history will be automated. Uh, so if you if your shop is not reporting to Carfax, basically you're in trouble uh, because if I'm doing all changes, uh, I'm not gonna collect receipts and take it when I want to sell it. They want to see the the history. But before we even get to Carfax, uh, the first thing is the best part of it is decoding VIN number or scanning VIN number or decoding license plate. Just press enter. Let's give you the VIN number, year, make, model, and engine size. So that will make you will give you the ability to order parts um, accurately but let's let's talk about uh, the well now existing customer probably can even learn more about this but we added some new features to it uh, the first thing first is when you click on uh, uh, service history it's right here now so I, if I click on service history it's gonna give me the service history so I don't have to click on edit and go there it's right there now so I just click on service history it's gonna give you the services that's what I was talking about the service history and recalls two things that you can see <clears throat> service history and recalls if there's any recalls which is pretty cool um, uh, another thing is uh, well, there's something called uh, my Carfax if you want to sign anybody up they must have an email and a VIN number so if I right click on here it's going to take me to my Carfax sign up, which is that's basically for the customer more than anybody. Uh, the customer can get uh, their service history uh, and alerts about upcoming service, which is kind of cool. So that I, I've tested it, it works really cool. And if there's any recall, so the customer, let's say, hey, the car is due for the tire rotation. I've been testing this for six months. And it tells me, hey, you need to go take your car for all change. Hey, so it's a very good reminder and it's through your shop. So it's really cool to enroll somebody. Uh, they just must have an email and a valid uh, and a valid uh, VIN number. Just click on enroll. In this case, it's going to say it's already enrolled. So that's how you, you enroll customers uh, for your shop. It's really cool. It's really good. It works great. And so right click, like I said, in, in the mouse, this is the mouse, right click, right click to enroll somebody for my Carfax, click on it to get Carfax history, uh, which is pretty cool. One more thing I added, which is super cool now, if you click on the VIN number right here, if I click on it, now I can get some more information about the car, let's check it out. So if I click on the VIN number, so I'm going to get vehicle specification, not much, but it's a start. It's going to tell you, first of all, the country of origin, where, where is that, where is that, uh, that Jeep was built in the United States, um, MSRP, I like that. <laughs> so you know if you're working on a piece of shit or not, MSRP, but that's the original at that time, keep that in mind. And uh, the size of the engine, we have engine specification, size of the engine, and uh, is it supercharged? That's pretty cool too. Aspiration, valves, gas, and the name of the engine. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure somebody does. And the transmission here is going to tell you what type of transmission is it. Eight-speed automatic transmission. Uh, is it all-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, wheel drive? You're going to get that. The body, you're going to get its sport utility, four doors, two doors. You're going to see that. And the tire size, which is, which is that's the OEM tire size, which is pretty cool. You can print that, keep that in mind. Let's look at another vehicle. Um, uh, go to, let's check the G6. All right, 21,000, United States. It's a coupe, see, that's kind of cool. So it's two doors, two doors, coupe, front wheel drive, four speed, and uh, fuel, gas. That's the name of the engine, don't know, naturally aspirated. 3.5 tire size that's kind of pretty cool I think it's a cool feature all right the one more thing I want to talk about and I'll let you guys go number one is searching for an estimate and invoice uh, when it says search anything it means it will search anything in a list so we'll search anything here we'll search anything here from including invoice number estimate number 
uh, name, year, make, model, and same here. But sometimes there's times where customer, where, where somebody is lost and he has an estimate number, cannot find it. Now we have something called advanced search. If I click on it, well, it's going to bring you here to search. You can search by invoice number. You can search by estimate number. Why is that cool? If I search any number, it's going to tell me what's going on with that. Let's say, let's say I want to search 5,000, 50,000. It's going to say, hey, there's no match found for that. Let's say I want to search. Let me just get something from here. Let's say I want to search this estimate number, 13302. So we're going to go there. 13302. Submit. It's going to tell me estimate is in progress. For details, go to workflow. So now I know the estimate is in progress. All I have to do is come back here and and just search 13302 and um, yep that's it for today i appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks for watching super busy just like usual <laughs>